Okay, muchachos, this video we're going to uh, go over some more command forms. This time it's usted and ustedes. And uh, because these are formal and usually we're talking to either adults or people we don't know, you'll see a lot of um, instructions and recipes are written in the usted and the ustedes form. Um, and so all of these command forms work off of the yo form. The present tense yo form is what we're going to use, kind of our, our jumping point, all right? So let's talk about AR verbs. Uh, we'll do a couple of those. So AR, um, let's do the verb probar. That's on your vocab list. It means to try or to taste. All right. And it's a stem changer. It's an O-T-U-E. So my yo form is pruebo. And you have a lot of these um, command forms. They all use the yo form. And so no matter what the verb does, in the present tense to change it to the yo form, that's the one we're gonna use, okay? All right, now, and there are irregulars, of course, okay? But all the ones we're gonna go over is you just go to the yo form and then we're gonna change it. So, usted, and we'll put the ustedes form out here, okay? So my usted form, uh, let's put for AR, I'm gonna put it over here in parentheses. Um, the ARs are, my ending is gonna be Change, I'm going to put this right here. Change the O, the O, in the yo form, to eh, an N. Okay? Okay, sorry, that's kind of small over there. but So you have pruebo, and then, so the usted form is pruebe, pruebe, and the ustedes form is prueben. Okay? Okay. Normally that is uh, an ER and IR verb ending. So that's why it, it looks different, it sounds different. And so when you say pruebe, um, usted pruebe, then you know that's, that's indicating the command form. It just does when people say it like that because you know it's an AR verb. So it should be like pruebo, pruebas. It should be the as and the, uh, and the amos and the on. And when it's A and N, it, it does sound different, okay? Okay, for ER and IR, uh, Let's write that over here, ER and IR. Uh, we're going to change the O, I'm just going to put change the O to A ah and ON. Okay, so kind of, so for AR verbs, we used ER and IR endings, and for ER and IR verbs, we're going to use AR endings, okay? So my, uh, let's do COMER, we'll do two of these. So uh, the verb COMER, to eat, is COMO, is the YO form. And then I'm going to say coma is the usted command and coman. So eat your vegetables. Coma las verduras. Coman las verduras. You guys need to eat your vegetables. Okay? Okay. Another verb on your vocab list is the verb añadir, which means to add. Okay? Um, so if you're trying to tell somebody in the directions, add two teaspoons of salt. Add a cup of flour. So my yo form is añado, and then I'm gonna add, change this o to an a or an on. So I have añada, and añadan, and those are my command forms, okay? Okay, I think that's about it. Again, it's a lot of times we get into trouble where we're starting to do stem changes or not doing stem changes. Again, whatever the verb is, Changes the yo form, and then you work off of that by changing the o's, and then to either a or n or a or on. Okay.